Hi, my name is Jason Mowbray. I'm the service manager from Phraseaway RV and I'm here to show you how to hook up your sewer and how to dump it. So the first thing we want to do is hook up the sewer hose. Just like that. And then we want to put the other end into the dump station or the sewer at the campsite. So what we've got here, we've got a nice little elbow and what this does is it stops the sewer hose from going deep down into the hole. If that sewer hose goes deep down into the hole, it can end up blocking and backing up. So this little uh, Rhino Flex adapter stops it from doing that. So just like that. Now down here, we've got two valves. The big valve is the black water, which is the uh, holding tank sewer waste and the small valve is the gray water, which is the sink and the shower waste. Now, if you go to a campsite where you're gonna be hooked up for several days, you can leave the gray open all the time, so as you're using your shower or you're washing your dishes, the water just flows straight out. But you always wanna leave the black closed until the tank is at least two-thirds full. The black water has solids in it, toilet paper, it needs to build up pressure, so when you pull the valve, it gives it a good flush out. Now if you're dry camping and both of your tanks are, are full, uh, you can tell by the monitor panel gauge inside or you can actually peer down the, the toilet into the tank, you'll get an idea of how full it is. You get to your uh, dump station, hook it up just the way we've done. You empty the black first by pulling the valve, let it all flush out. It'll probably take a couple minutes or so for it to flush out. Once the black water is flushed out, you can close the valve and then come over to the gray side and then you can pull the gray valve and that will rinse away any solid waste that's in the hose. Again, that'll take a minute or two for the gray water to drain out. Close it up. You can actually just disconnect the sewer hose and then put your cap back on. The other thing too with your uh, holding tank, as far as uh, your black water, you want to make sure you use proper RV toilet paper. It breaks down a lot easier than any household toilet paper which is likely to uh, block your holding tank up. And you also want to use chemicals in your uh, RV holding tank as well. So uh, that goes straight in from the, from the uh, top side, just open up the toilet, pour the chemicals down. Uh, th depending on what type of chemical you're using, it'll tell you how much to put in on the bottle. Uh, this particular vehicle also has a sewer flush. Uh, the sewer flush allows you to be able to hook up a hose and uh, what that does is it, it water goes directly into your black water tank, flushes, helps clean the tank out, clean the probes. Don't hook the sewer hose up and then leave your, your black water valve closed because I've seen people forget about it and they've come back and it's flooded inside uh, because they, they've gone ahead, the phones rang and they've forgotten and they've left it. So thank you very much.